A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 1, verses 39 to 45. Passage taken from the Message Version of the Bible. Mary didn't waste a minute. She got up and traveled to a town in Judea in the hill country, straight to Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby in her womb leaped. She was filled with the Holy Spirit and sang out exuberantly. You are blessed among women, and the baby in your womb also blessed. And why am I so blessed that the mother of my Lord visits me? The moment the sound of your greeting enters my ears, the baby in my womb skipped like a lamb for sheer joy. Blessed woman who believed what God said, believed every word would come true. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 39 to 45. After the Annunciation to Mary by Angel Gabriel, she takes up a commitment to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who is already six months pregnant. Gospel says, Mary remained with her for about three months before returning home, perhaps until the birth of John the Baptist. The visit of the angel of God brought Mary blessings and happiness and the Holy Spirit of God. God the Son was conceived in her womb and now Mary returns the favor by visiting Elizabeth. What does Mary bring to Elizabeth? She brings her the same gifts that she had received from God, happiness and the Holy Spirit. Elizabeth noticed it right away. As soon as your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb jumped for joy, she says. Remember, during the Annunciation, the angel had promised Mary, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. And now, when Mary visits Elizabeth, she transmits the same Holy Spirit to her. Today's Gospel tells us that Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Important things are transmitted like a contagion, like faith, trust, love, hope. What we carry in our hearts are shown on our faces and our words. During her visit to Elizabeth, Mary also receives something in return. She receives the confirmation of the path that she had begun. Elizabeth gives two important confirmations when she says, Blessed are you who have believed. And why am I so blessed that the mother of my Lord visits me? Confirming Mary that she is the mother of the Lord. The visits of God are both a gift and a task. Like Mary and Elizabeth, we too are loved and chosen for a mission. That mission puts us on the path to visit others who might be in need of our words of encouragement, words of comfort and appreciation, and also in need of our patient listening. When we give, we receive new gifts. In this Christmas, visiting our friends and family may not be a possibility. And Christmas parties and exchange of gifts may not be a good idea. But then, find time to call up your family members who are away from you. And also greet the elderly neighbor or a friend who is ill. Inquire of their well-being, especially in this time of struggles. Share time, talent and treasure with those in need of them the most.